Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, depending on what time you're watching this, what part of the world you're in. This is Chris again, the Watch Lounge, coming in with another video review. Today's review is, as promised, this is that Salt Watch. This is kindly lent in from my buddy Peter C. You can follow him over on Instagram. I'll leave a link across the screen here. Watch again, 9876. Go give him a follow, a shout out, tell him on Instagram, tell him I sent you. Appreciate it, Peter. Peter's sending a whole bunch of watches for the channel for me to check out, for you guys to check out, which is pretty cool. Now this salt watch is something kind of unique. Quick wrist watch check. I'm getting ready to go to work for the evening here in a little bit. Um, this will probably air tomorrow. It's Saturday. It'll probably air on Sunday. But I am indeed wearing the Casio G-Shock, the all metal, of course. But um, like I said, this is uh, something different. This is kind of a uh, different kind of watch. Now it does have the very Blanc Pond S kind of diver feel to at least to me. If you go back and look at my old Block Pond 50 Fathoms, as you guys know, that used to be my old grail. Now I do believe it is the CQ Glass Suta that's kind of changed now. So it's actually a little bit cheaper than the Block Pond. But if you're looking for kind of an alternative to a Block Pond, something that looks along the lines of that, but not as expensive, this one averages about 200 or so euros, depending on what option you get. This particular model, I believe, with Sapphire Crystal is sold out. Unfortunately, they do have another model that's available with that one. Like I said, for around 200 and something euros, which I believe translates to about $220 or so. This is a lot of watch for the money. It comes with an automatic movement. The, the, as you'll see, once I go to the desktop, the, the quality on it is actually really good, guys. The build quality on it. These are also made in France, so they're not the usual made in Germany, made in Japan, or made in uh, Switzerland kind of thing. So they're, they're it's kind of a different take on it as well. They kind of throw their own spin on, on the kind of block pond design as well as I think this is also known as a skin diver which is pretty cool because you, you see a lot of them around but this one's a little bit different the, the no the size is a little bit smaller than you would think but it is a skin diver so I don't think it's supposed to be really too huge guys but anyways guys we'll go to the desktop and I'll show you the um, stats specs and how it looks on the wrist everything else on the desktop now here is what the watch looks like, guys. Again, this is a pretty cool watch. You can definitely see the Blanc Pond kind of vibes to it, guys. Definitely pretty cool. Really lightweight, guys. It is only a 38 millimeter watch, 20 millimeter lugs, so you can fit all kind of different straps. The strap on the hair is pretty good. Substantial hardware. You can see the salt logo there. You don't really see these reviewed too much on YouTube. I think the other only other person I saw uh, reviewing this was Watch Chris over his channel um i may be wrong but he was doing a giveaway on this and this is about the only other person i've seen i'm surprised because this is a really quality watch guys it comes with a citizen uh miyota 9015 automatic movement really solid reliable movement i'll show you guys the bezel action unidirectional bezel of course bezel play is pretty solid guys and it does have that screw down crown there at the three o'clock action on the crown is pretty good as well guys it's only a ten and a half millimeter thick watch you, you can see the beveled edges here it, it it's almost kind of like a pvd brushed kind of hardware guys on the 316l stainless steel and here you can see the case back nothing too crazy you have kind of the uh jellyfish on there which is pretty cool again some kind of different some kind of unique you see the day dive so again this is a skin diver so it's meant to be really light 120 meter water resistance so you're not going to go diving diving with it but skin diving is fine what the human can actually go to at depth i guess underwater is basically enough for what this is and then this is uh it has the date window here at the three o'clock guys so overall nicely executed date window i would prefer no date but that's just me pretty clean dowel overall it's that california style dowel which it, it kind of takes off from the pond effect as i would say but then again like i said they kind of threw their own twist on it this kind of does remind me of a block pond in a way minus the california dowel and you see the 12 atmos on there pretty clean dowel like i said overall appreciate you peter for just lending this in this is a lot of bang for buck on a watch if you're looking for something that's kind of nice nicely well built something kind of different some kind of unique and i do like that blue second hand it, it kind of contrasts nicely with the dial guys sapphire crystal definitely a lot of specs for around the 200 point 220 or so 
Peter can comment down below where he got this one from. Um, and the only place I found is their website, and I will leave a link to their website down below. Again, not a sponsored video. This is, was or is Peter's personal watch, guys. So I appreciate you for sending this in, Peter. Definitely cool to look at this. Something kind of unique. And like I said, if you like that block palm look, definitely go for it, guys. And a fraction of the price, of course. I will show you what it looks like on my side half inch wrist. Now, the, the NATO is, or the strap is a little stiff, but I'm sure with more wear time, that will change as well. Here's what it looks like on my 7.5 inch wrist. A little on the smaller side, so it does wear a little bit smaller than that 38 mil, but I think you can pass it off if you have a bigger wrist. This is perfect for those with smaller, more slender wrists as well, guys. Anyways, guys, this has been Chris with the Salt Day Dive watch for you let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if you guys haven't already please like subscribe hit that notification bell as i do come up with video reviews topic videos live streams regularly and i will see you guys later peace